Hi guys, today another project pan. It looks a bit wild because I'm literally tidying up at the moment a little bit and I thought I'd quickly film this. It's time for the, um, that anyway. First one, um, an empty, which is the Prime and Stay finishing powder from e.l.f. That was the fair light translucent one. Um, it actually even... I don't know why, but I managed to crack the thingy. This bit is still lying in there. I actually tried to... There was like a tiny little bit of rim left. I could maybe use it up and repress it, but um, I can't be bothered because I also broke the lid. So I will just chuck this. Um, it was quite a fairly small powder, so I expected actually a quick um, use up of that one. It makes me happy. Um, looks a bit scruffed even because I literally used it every single day. And it's gone, and I'm happy. The next one, unfortunately, is... Um, a death in the family? I don't know. Um, this was my Kiko Milano um, under eye um, liner. This was the candy split eye pencil and I really like this one. Um, I did mark it earlier today. Oh, where's the postcard? There we are. I marked it earlier. So last time I used up from here to here. This was the bit that's left. But unfortunately I dropped it and it's gone now. So literally clean break off and because it literally broke off you can't even put it back in so this has to be unfortunately chucked i did like this one um it's a nice rosy pinky color i liked it but it's gone now so unfortunately this was a bit of an unexpected empty next one huge progress on my foundation i used the e Flom foundation this is the one in the shade vanilla number four um I didn't use it up completely. I think if I would have used it every single day, I actually would have used it up. But I did have some bad skin days where I found such a heavy cream foundation not the best solution. So I just used one of my other more fluid foundations um, or actually no foundation at all some of the days. So it's still there something. Unfortunately though, I find now really hard to pick it up. Um, I love to use it with the sponge, either the sponge here um, or even better, um, like a beauty panther sponge. So I might have to take a spatula or something and pat it all in the middle because now it's literally a nightmare to pick it up because it's quite a heavy, creamy foundation. It's just stupid to go in there with the sponge at the little rim. But good progress. Um, I also started to use a bit more the concealer from Rodial. Um, still don't like it. I feel like I have a little dip now in the product. It's a bit tricky to see. I didn't hit pan on it yet though, but I do try um, to use it more. Not the biggest fan of it. It's just a really heavy concealer and um, it tends to also go into the creases immediately. This was in the color Aspen 01. So I will focus though on this one a bit longer and um, I'm just looking forward when, when this one is gone, to be honest. Another one with good progress is actually um, my quad from Kiko Milano. This is the Bright Quartet number one. And I used this one for a long, long time now. And as you can see, I actually hit pen now on the shade down here. Um, it's a baked one, so you can see the pan is not deep or anything. The baked ones actually come out of the pan. I was actually wondering how deep it goes until it hits pan. Now I know it's relatively flat. So once you literally go down with them, um, you're done. As you can, Actually, in the mirror you can see a bit better. All of them have um, quite a good dip. This is the shade um, I would use all over my lid. This one to darken up the crease a bit. This one more on the inner corner of the lid and this one on the very inner corner of the lid and sometimes I use the shade a bit of a to blend the other colors out in my in my crease so that's why this one just hit pan first because yeah I like to use it the most I did not really use the elf one I did repress it though because I had issues they dip quite deep now already all of them I did had another I did also kind of a Frankenstein thing I had another little single pan which I broke and I just pressed it into this shade here because um, I like these these two to use on the inner corner of my eye for highlight. But I guess when this one isn't really usable, when there's literally only three shades left, I might have to combine it with this one. This one I hardly use at all. Um, I might start to use this one on my eyebrows because it's not a bad color to fill my eyebrows in a little bit just to use it up a bit more. But we're nearly close to the end of the year and... I don't want to carry these two all through whole of next year, so I'm really focusing on these two now. Then the perfume. This is um, f from Omoruitsa Budapest, Queen of Hungary. I love this mist. It's really nice. Um, you can see the progress is actually quite steady every month. So if I go by that, it's maybe one, two, three, three and a half months maybe, because there's quite a big glass bottom here. 
maybe three three months left in there and i really like this mist and i'm happy to use it it's a very very fine mist which is why it seems to last so long because it's only 30 ml usually with 30 ml perfumes they don't last as long but this one is such a fine mist you can actually spray quite a few times and it still works then my mac prep and prime fix plus this one i actually forgot last time um, to mention, last time I was down here, but somehow I didn't mention it in my, um, in my empties, in my, in my project pan. A um, bit more this month I used up, so to be honest, I give it another month, and then um, it should be done. So happy to use the next one. I don't know, people are obsessed with this one. It's alright. I wouldn't say it's perfect, um, but it's alright. Then the mascaras. Um, I still use these two, the elf one and the What's this one called? Duce? It was a weird company. Yeah. Duce? Duke? This one I use more than the elf one. I do not like the brush though. The brush is just humongous. The brush is literally bigger than my eyes. Um, I do use it up though because itself, apart from the brush, it's actually quite a good mascara. It definitely gives you gives you volume and I really, really like it. It's just the brush really annoys me. So if something annoys me, I'm actually quite determined to use it up <laughs> as quickly as possible. So it's gone. The Elf one was the one with the really, really thin brush, which is quite nice if you want to use it as a bottom lash mascara. Really interesting one. The brush still works um, despite being so fiddly um, but I think because it's so fiddly I don't use it also as much as this one because for this one you really need to have a steady hand and need to do your eyes slowly and the other one you can be a bit quicker then my blush still use this one pan is using 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 I love this one it's the um, Ciate pinch me glow to blushes which have like a bit of shimmer in them let me just watch it I just really like this one there we go it's just like a really nice pinky coral with a shimmer to it. It's such a good blush because you can wear it all year round. Um, still use only one bronzer every single day. Um, can't really see the dome going down. I really like this one and it smells like chocolate. It's the one from Kiko Milano but it's huge so I guess I will also have it all next year. It's 20 grams. It's just humongous. I like it though and I like to continue using it. Then lipstick wise, I actually have an interesting issue. So this is the, um, it's on my card actually. It's the Kiko Milano lipstick and I went down from here last time to down here now. And this is the bit left. But I feel now, I'm someone who uses their lipstick like up quite flat. So I measured the length from here to the top when I hold it against the card. But the problem is it's slanted. So at some point I will have issues using everything up with because there will be a bit left here in the corner. I probably could use a lip brush um, to use it up, but let's see how it goes. I like it, um, but I'm also glad when it's gone because I just have too many lip products and I just want some other lip products now. I do try every now and then on other days to use other ones. But um, yeah. Claudia Schiffer, this was my eyebrow styler in the color Wolf 25. Hardly use this one. Um, I use it every single day, but somehow this is so waxy and hard. Tiny, tiny progress. Um, I know there will be some eyebrow pens in the advent calendars coming up soon. It's the only one I have in use at the moment. Um, and I guess when the other ones from the advent calendars come into play, I will have another one. I will have a backup. So let's see. I'm, I'm still keen, though, on working through this one and just using it up. I'm so fed up with it, though, to be honest. Then I used a few times, but not so much, the Bare Minerals Be Natural Powder. Um, this is the Hydrating Mineral Veil. I do like this one, but because I'm mainly focused on using up the Eve Lom foundation, I don't like this one on top of um, a creamy, sticky foundation. It just gives... yeah, I, I don't like the look of it. It just gives too much of a shimmer, which is why I used the e.l.f. powder up first. But I will leave it in my project pan. Um, we have Christmas season coming up, and I will use other foundations, so this will be a bit better on top of the other foundations. This is kind of still my project pan, even though I didn't use it at all the whole last month. This was like my Franken Monster Highlighter palette, where I repressed a lot of smaller highlights into this big palette. Love it still, really nice. Um, I still leave it in my project pan because there are some Christmas parties coming up soon, so this is a good body highlight, which might be to use. Then we actually get already to the stuff I'm adding. Uh, well, oh yeah, this lipstick I think I added last time, did I? Kiko Milano, I didn't use it at all, color 800. It's like a gold sparkle one. Really, really sheer. Um, I added it because 
I hardly used it so far since last year and I don't want it to get off. Now, stuff I will add. Um, I will definitely add this one. This is the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder. I think it will be a nice one um, to balance out that I have this one in my project pan because it's just literally one of these um, white pressed powders. I used it this morning and I actually quite like it. And I have, I think, two more of these from other brands in my stash. So I'm happy to use this one up. This is six grams. So hopefully I go through it as quickly as went through the small one from e.l.f. which was four grams. Then I will also add another foundation because clearly my um, Evelyn one will go off soon, or not go off, will be empty soon. This is from Aldi actually, from La Cura. This is their Illusion Touch one, two in one concealer foundation. And this one, um, actually here's the name, La Cura. As you can see already from the look of it, um, it's pretty much they try to copy a bit the long comb foundation. You pull the lid off and there you have your foundation. I used it out when I um, trialed it out. Um, and then on the top you have a cream concealer. This one, by the way, is so much nicer to the Rodeal one. It's also a cream concealer, um, similar to the Rodeal one, but so much nicer. It doesn't um, crease as much. So I'm really happy. And there's also a little mirror in, by the way. Really nice. And um, I'm happy to start to use this one, just to have another type of foundation. Usually, usually the fluid ones you can go through quite quickly. And I will add another face powder. And this was my repressed one. This was... Um, Wet n Wild, so-called, they call it bronzer, Reserve Your Cabana, but um, we all know it's not really a bronzer. I had it in my project pan already a few times, and I, I didn't use it at all recently, but I just, I feel like, I feel like it again, I want to use it again. It's very similar, actually, um, to the, to this one here, to the Bare Minerals one. It's just a pressed one. And I just want to add it because sometimes it's nicer with a pressed powder to pick up things with the brush and um, use all over your face compared to a loose one. And I also add a primer, and this one I just got recently, um, but I find this primer at the moment, I have another primer actually who's older from Shiseido, but I find um, this one fits better to the season. It's like a pore filling, smoothing balm, very similar to the Benefit Pore Fashioner. It's literally, it's like, I think it's like silicones, and it's relatively clear, and it mattifies the skin, and just fills the pores. I think it's full of dermatopon probably. Saying that um, I can't, I, I don't tend to use primers every single day at the moment. I, it's kind of a product I tend to go off on. Uh, I just don't know. I, I think I can live without primers, which is why I'm happy to use this one up, to be honest. Um, the other one from Shiseido I actually do quite really like, but more for summertime because it seems to mattify my skin really, really nicely. But this one, because it goes into the pores, I feel like it makes my skin bad if I use it too often. So I will put it in my project pan, but I will probably not use it daily, purely because I th don't think it's the best thing for my skin. But that's my reasoning. Okay, that's it for me today. As you can see, some empties, um, some products I unfortunately lost, and adding quite a few new things. And spurt, I'm trying, I actually have to, fill, I have to film on empties as well. My empties box is huge at the moment, because all the Christmas advent calendars are coming, and I'm just trying not to scramble together to empty up a lot of products because there's so much new stuff to come to try. But that's it for me today. I hope you liked it. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.